What's up, nerdlings? What is up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for response videos? Because we have been tagged by the trollster himself, Chris, over at Telesplash Gaming. You know, I don't know if Do You Nerd was tagged, if they were. So sorry. But I want to see what Do You Nerd has to say about their franchises they want to see remade or brought back. And then one, they want to keep the momentum going. Thanks a lot, Chris, because, you know, we don't have anything better to do than respond to you. <laughs> okay, to be fair, this was pretty interesting, actually. Two questions. One, what is a series that you would like to see stick around in gaming? And what is a gaming series that you would like to see come back? Well, you know what I want to see stick around? Whoa, almost knocked Holy him over. Cow. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Now, first and foremost, this is not FIFA, this is not Madden. We do not need a new Assassin's Creed game every year. Calm down, Ubisoft. Seriously. But I I like the Assassin's Creed games. I like the storylines. I like the historical element to it. I like the open world. Most of the time, whenever I go through one of these games, as far as the collectibles go, I 100% complete them. I don't go after all the trophies, but I do grab all the junk that you can find. I love the Assassin's Creed games, and as you can see, there's a ton of them. And you don't actually realize how many there are until you see them all put together. <laughs> but, you know, I fell in love with Ezio, and it just kind of grew from there. And I, I'm the same way. I'm a huge history buff, so I love seeing all the historical things. I would love a time machine to go back in time to see if they actually got things correct. Like, not the history, but the way things looked. And um, I, I just enjoy being able to jump through history and time with these games. That's what I feel like these games do for me, is they're my time machine. Now, on that note, you actually went to a bunch of the places that Ezio went I to did, actually, in yeah. Assassin's Creed 2. And obviously, a lot of those places haven't really changed over a couple mm -hmm. hundred years. So it was blowing your mind just a it little bit was, to see in a video was. game what you had seen in Especially real life. Especially Florence. When we were when you were running around there, I was like, I've literally been to that cathedral right there and it looks exactly like that. So that was that was blowing my mind. In fact, it was even my parents. They had come over one time and you were playing it and they were like, I've been there, where is that? So yeah. Yeah, definitely with Ezio being in Italy, lots of places I've been. <laughs> they have changed up the formula just a little bit in some of the later entries. And they've expanded that open world. Oh my Ooh, gosh. They have. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I started playing that game and I'm pretty sure I'm never going to stop. Although, Which means you'll never get to start Valhalla. Uh, yeah, what a shame, <laughs> huh? Clearly the PlayStation is our console of choice whenever it comes to the Assassin games, but it is nice to know that they are available on the other systems. I have not sat down to any of the Microsoft consoles and played through the games or any of the Nintendo consoles to play through any of the games. But trust me, I don't always need an excuse to revisit some of these. No. What is a gaming franchise that needs to come back? Well, <laughs> if you've watched a fair amount of our videos, this should come as no surprise. His favorite game. Chrono Trigger, come on! You gotta bring this game back! We need a sequel! We need... Get out of here, Chrono Cross! You don't count! You don't count! You're not the same. No, Chrono Cross was fine, but seriously, I would love to see a return to the Chrono series because what an amazing game. The first game delves into time travel. Uh, Cross delves into a little parallel dimensions. So themes like that in a role-playing game setting, I loved it. Plus this really mashed up all different time periods you know an age of magic prehistoric time the future it was so exciting plus a battle system i mean this one right here if you don't want to fight enemies most of the time you can avoid them but i would fight all the enemies anyway just so i could rock the freaking bosses <laughs> and in both games something that they implemented that i adored was the new game plus starting over with all of the levels and weapons and armor and power and money that you ended the game with. It's nothing like going up to that very first boss encounter and just taking them down with a single sword swipe. 
what do you think? Was was this a shocker to you that uh, this is a no, franchise I want for absolutely out there? not. Considering anything that Chrono Trigger is on, you have, including an iPhone, which you don't even have an iPhone. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think someone enables that, though. Well, yes, true. Anytime I do find it on anything, I buy it for you, which is why I bought it for you for the iPhone. <laughs> what a sweetheart. All right, well, there you go. Let's bring back the Chrono series. Come on, it's been long enough. I want to get those tunes stuck in my head again. All right, at this point, generally, you like to pick out people in the community and tag them for a response. Something we love to do, however, is to throw an open tag out mm -hmm. there because we don't want anybody to feel left out. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, I want to talk about a franchise I want to see brought back or a series that I want to keep around. I don't care how many entries there are in it. Please do a response video. Drop a link in the comments down below. Let us know that you've done that so we can check out what you've picked out. Leave some comments about our choices. Maybe you think we're insane going with Assassins or you've heard enough about Chrono Trigger. Which you could never do. I could never know. <laughs> Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to hit the link in the description below as well to see how Chris tagged us in this. And check out his channel while you're there. Tell Splash Gaming is a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. They have merch now, too. And if we like it... We nerd it. So, please... Bring back Chrono Trigger. Like, I, I can't say it enough. Please, come on, Square. Are you happy, Christopher? <laughs> Christopher Robin, the Hundred Acre Wood. Wonder what his middle name really is. With poo. Ew. Not that poo, Winnie the Pooh. Oh. Seriously, a lot of Assassin's game. This one had an Assassin Turkey. This one had a lot of open areas in between towns that had nothing in them. This one had all the places that Lacey visited. Plus, your uncle, it's -a me, a Mario. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's -a me, Mario. This one was glorified DLC. Ah, uh, this one. Look, let's bring Altair back because. I really like Altair. Now this was this was a good one because he got to be pirates. And meet pirates and talk like a pirate if you so and wanted. And you really an assassin. And in this one, this was kind of fun because you got to dress up in different outfits like a lady's dress. But then you couldn't do the parkour. And oh, the rogue. I'm an assassin gone bad. I'm going to turn to the Templar side. And then there's Unity, which no one likes to talk about because it was a buggy mess. But hey, it's in France with guillotines. And Napoleon busting through the wall with Should a cannon. Have French fries. Maybe. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Oh, Syndicate. There's a good one. Evie Fry. Mm. She'll wait for me, I swear. And the Chronicles. Ooh, like the little side scrolling Assassin's games. That was kind of interesting. And then Origins. Oh. A little bit of a disappointment for Lady Lacey. So excited to see Egypt, but so much sand. It's everywhere. Get used to it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I think I'm over 160 hours into this game. And then Valhalla, because God of War made Vikings cool again. Mind your tongue, boy.